Uh, good question. I have a program that consists of four uh, quarterly workshops, and I get paid there. I get paid doing one-to-one -one coaching, and I get paid doing gap and, and focus calls with these entrepreneurs in this program. And I'm currently in the process of creating some digital products that are one-offs. Any other questions? So, yeah, Mark. Actually, if I could offer a suggestion, yeah. when you were kind of doing the build-up and describing, you know, trying to build a mindset, your your meme for cyber kind of didn't seem very clear to me. So I don't know if that's one of your favorite memes. Maybe you want to drop because when you said that to me, I immediately start thinking way too technical, and you then my mind went off on a tangent. Like, is he talking a virus or a firm or a, gotcha? You know, and, and also it wasn't you know you got from your gotcha. people shouting out. It was like, All right. I don't know. thank you. Yeah, Bill. Les, so what's the cost of the four quarterly workshops? Uh, the base cost is $6,000. $6,000. Yeah. And that's for, is that every course is sequential or is it? No. So you can jump in in course number three and then pick up one and two on the next year. So it doesn't matter where you fall in the program. And, and what kind of time commitment do you do for the course? I mean, is this a three hour or full day? Oh, no, it's two full days. Once a quarter. Okay. Yeah. And where, where is that held? Uh, it's held in downtown Dolphin. Yeah. Is there coaching yes. support that goes along with that, or is it just the one day? The coaching support is a supplemental, right? Okay. So if the entrepreneur is, is really wrapped around the axle and really needs some extra support in the beginning stages, then the supplemental is available to them as much as they need. And what's your marketing strategy to get out to these entrepreneurs? Uh, that's a good question. So uh, obviously networking, doing talks like this, uh, I'm putting together a marketing campaign. I uh, just did the launch of the website. So this is a brand new product for me. I've been coaching one-to-one -one for 15 years. And, uh, and then uh, I've got my studio set up to, to broadcast via video. Uh, just, you know, that means your question? Yeah. yeah. There, there's several groups within the region that again provide support and services to entrepreneurs. Uh, you may want to reach out to them. Your program may be something they want to implement as part of what they're offering as a supplemental right. aspect or, or maybe work a mini program in with them that would fit in to the support and services they're providing. So obviously the universities and Tower community and, and uh, Small Business Development Center, there's a lot of entities out there to help entrepreneurs, but that might be a way right. also to, to work something. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm going to act like a plan because I saw your last talk. Good. How did you get to this point yeah, where I you're coaching others? Other uh, <laughs> well, I've been an entrepreneur since I was six, and my story is littered or riddled with all kinds of tragedy, setbacks, hardships. Uh, lost my first son when he was five, lost both my siblings to death. Uh, you know, lots of, of uh, tragedy that I had to unwrap myself uh, from. And once I discovered that I was able to free myself, then uh, others began asking me, hey, you think you could help me? And I was successful helping them, and it just morphed into, you know, me taking something that's got no limits on it and bringing it back in and focusing it in on this market of, ambitious, growth-oriented, already successful entrepreneurs because that's how I see myself. It's what I enjoy doing, and uh, it's where I can really connect. Yes, so I, just, I just want to advocate real quick. So I've been in a program for the last, you don't, you don't mind, do you? No, I I've been in a program with Les for the last three weeks, and it's, uh, it's a very interesting program, and it's, uh, it's a level of business professionals that are very leery about who they allow to speak truth into their life. And I can tell you, we see a lot of people in the front of this room, um, but he is genuine. Uh, the, the feedback I've gotten from the people uh, that are working directly with him is of the highest level. Um, he, he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, and uh, I didn't even know you were presenting this morning. This is why I would, like, you thought it was uh, fun to walk in the room. So uh, inc incredible, incredible man. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. What, what would be, who, who would be your traditional market less? $6,000 is not for a startup. I mean, that's kind right. of rich. 
Yeah. So are you looking for somebody that has a uh, like a business that is like two years old and making you know half a million dollars or something or what? Yeah. yeah so I, I really need to be the sweet spot for me is the entrepreneur has been in business for however long and they're making a minimum of a thousand a hundred thousand a year personally, so that they can. First of all, if they're making 100000 a year personally, they're probably doing pretty good at home. And they have some extra money and some extra time that they can devote to the program because it's intense. Getting yourself rejuvenated is intense. It's hard work, uh, especially if you couple onto that some type of tragedy, right? You lose a kid, you lose a, a spouse, you lose a, a sibling who's very close to you. That kind of tragedy can really wrap them around the axle. But, you know, there's this piling up of things that make it very difficult too. So let's pretend the entrepreneur has tension in his marriage, right? And his wife is is off doing her own thing, and that support's no longer there. It's actually become a bone of contention. It's a lot of angst, and the kids aren't behaving, and he's got employees who he can't count on. And you know, he doesn't trust them. He doesn't really even like them. <coughs> now you've got a recipe for very difficult to think things through with a clean mind. And so they get stalled, they get stuck, they can no longer progress. So they need help getting untangled from all that so they can, so growth can resume. I saw Ray. Well, I actually have one. Yes, ma'am. Um, so it sounds kind of like, too, like is there, so there's programs where you go in for like helping grow your business, you know, and it's all business. Do you also do, because it sounds like a lot of these issues are also, outside issues, so do you do counseling? It's not counseling, it or? no, it's not counseling at all, other than the fact that untangling your thoughts is very cathartic and very therapeutic. So if you can separate the emotion by untangling your thinking, then things get very clear, very clean, very quickly. And I find that entrepreneurs who fall into that category are capable of doing that. They have the capability already. They just need to be reminded and sort of guided out of that place. Yes? Yeah, I just, uh, so it's still a little unclear to me. So is it more emotional um, uh, help that you're giving um, an entrepreneur versus the nuts and bolts of PL? So, control? yeah, good, good question. So, yeah, I'm not into the PL work. Uh, we don't do systems work, processes. Uh, all the entrepreneurs who fall into this category, they already know that stuff. And so my goal is to help them think better about the problems and the opportunities that they face. Help them look at them with clean thinking so that they can seize them and or transform them, right? I mean, most entrepreneurs who come to me feel like they're hitting a wall of complexity. And it's an invisible wall to them. They can't figure out how to get past it. And it's not because they don't have the right processes or the right systems not because they don't know what they're doing, it's because their thinking is messy. They need to be able to see it in a clean way. So then is it you're playing the role of a life coach to help somebody get over some, an obstacle that may be preventing their business from growing, where you're focusing yeah. not on the business but whatever the obstacle is? Uh, that's part of it. Let me just break down what each of the four workshops sounds like, and that'll help you understand. So the first workshop is it's all about getting their freedom back. Now, I've done some studies and what I found is that it takes about a day and a half for most production to be accomplished by an individual in a given week. So there's a lot of time that's wasted on trivial stuff. The real production, the real profitable, the real meaningful work happens in about a day and a half. So if I come in and help them do an 80-20 analysis and really get real about what's actually being done versus what is trivial stuff, I can give them a lot of freedom back. Because what I commonly hear is, I'm too busy, I don't have enough time. Well, the reason why is because they're in firefighting mode, they're doing a lot of stuff they shouldn't be doing. So that's the first workshop. It takes two full days to get through that, for them to wrap their head fully around what that, what that means and how much freedom they're getting back as a result. Once they get their freedom back, now they have a lens that's cleaner than when they came in. And so they can see their own self better, they can see what's happening in their organization more clearly. And so it makes it easier for them to make decisions very quickly and to gain some, some momentum or gain some traction. 
And then the second workshop is designed to help them get in their circle of genius. So remember I said in the first one that they're engaged in doing all kinds of trivial crap. Now we gotta focus in on what is it that you're really, really here to do? I mean, what makes you come alive and fills you with you know, energy? And other people view it as being, man, you're a rock star in this area. And you're doing this one thing, you're a rock star. Get them in a position where that's what they're doing day in and day out, the balance of their time. And then the third workshop is designed to help them do the same thing for their team. So what it often looks like is they've got team members who are very capable, but they're in the wrong seats, or they're being tasked with the wrong projects, or whatever, and there's probably no measurement in place to hold them accountable, and so on and so forth. So we work really hard on helping the entire team get aligned around everybody's using their unique genius, and they're measuring and reporting so that they can see that the needle's moving. And then the final workshop is designed to help them get very clear on their ideal market. So, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs work for people who don't really care. They're indifferent about the service or the product that they're receiving from the company that's, that, that they bought from. What they need, what we all need, is to do business with people who rave about what we do, who really care, because we've impacted them in a very transformational way. Yes? Just a friendly piece of advice If you would explain in your six minutes those four workshops and kind of wrap that would be better. Up around there. Um, your question and answer have been great. You really know your product. And you've been doing a lot of good things to you know, as far as what you do. Thank that. you. But to take that workshop as your core and just kind of say, this is what I do, you know, this is how I help entrepreneurs, I think would give a lot more focus to a future presentation. Yes, sir. Are you doing any testimonials? Yes. Just sound so yeah. under your marketing, you're doing it? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, right. You know, um, a, another idea of, of a target market that I think this would hit, uh, <coughs> hit home on would be, uh, somebody mentioned the earlier, entrepreneurial organization. Uh -huh. These are guys that have, have built a good business, a solid foundation, and, and now are growing but experiencing I think the pains of growing from a small entrepreneur type setting to maybe a large corporation. So right. if you know anybody in that organization, that might be, be a, a good well for potential customers. Like you Yes. If you uh, have an ideal client sitting in front of you earning $100,000 a year, and able to afford the 6000 and they are looking at several programs, uh -huh. you know, that for self-improvement, what does your program differentiate from the others that they will pick you instead of other programs? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I'm not aware of another program, at least in the area, that offers entrepreneurial rejuvenation. And so that's a distinction that's unique. I'm not aware of another program that focuses on the thinking of the entrepreneur area necessarily. Uh, a lot of it's very tactical. So do X and get Z. Uh, so that distinguishes it. Uh, and I think the, the uniqueness of the workshop environment is also very unique. So if I bring entrepreneurs into a room, it's a kind of a special environment, kind of like this is, right? I mean, everybody in the room for the most part is entrepreneurial. But if I bring a group of very ambitious type entrepreneurs who are very growth oriented and they're all sh sort of looking for ways to create a bigger, better future for themselves, then that's also a very unique uh, distinction. So, yes, Mark. If there's somebody else. Yes, sir. How do you market your services? It, it seems like that, that you need to find a CEO that, that has these constellation of problems at the right stage of development of his company. And, the, and it's, it's hard to find people that have those specific characteristics. Right. Well, no traditional marketing at all. So, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I launched. Yeah, well, I run an ad. <laughs> yeah. Silly. Well, I mean, we've done some online stuff in the beginning stages. I just launched the program in June, so we're just getting rolling. And uh, you know, a lot of networking, 
a lot of doing talks to groups like this, uh, uh, doing some broadcasting via video and audio, uh, writing a book. Uh, hope to have the book done by December. And so, yeah, just getting rolling with the marketing piece. Yes? One more time. Okay, so uh, to help you, uh, my wife and I have been in business for years. For yes. Some years, uh, for any longer. But when we were, we went to trade shows. Uh, and we were in the fashion business, so there were fashion markets. Yeah. Atlanta being a big one, New York. There's huge opportunities. Because they're doing like seminars all the time and you yeah. build a brand in there. And you, the rooms and the hallways are just Right out I would just say in that market, whatever industry, there's just it's a, it's a fertile market for you. Now you may not get paid top rate to kind of go in there and do that, but it's a way to build a brand and just kind of really right uh, help people. Really help each other. Yeah, that's definitely on my to-do list in the future. So I get the book done, and I'll have that as a you know. Yes. You should look at entrepreneurs as sold out. Because there's a huge depression after people sell businesses. Yeah, there really is. They, they lose their identity. I mean, That's a great idea. Sold. I mean, I've been involved in like 20 different companies, so I've gotten over it. But I've seen it myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my buddy, he just sold a big healthcare deal. Yeah. And he was Mr. Healthcare, and now it's like he went in the bug business, got some stupid tattoo. Yeah. And it's like, holy shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with you, dude. Been there, you got socks that. that say badass on them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean. That's a great idea. It is. I saw it in here. Yeah. Okay, so, so the program seems like it's very you heavy. How do you scale as one person with 168 hours a week? Yeah, you're right. It is heavy at the moment. Uh, scaling is uh, next phase, or maybe phase three. So. First phase is to get the program filled. Second phase is to develop a second year program so that I hold on to the clients. And then maybe third phase is I get paid myself. I didn't want to pass up there. Just, just in your pitch, I noticed that a lot of the examples you're using are personal uh, examples, whereas you know, and you're kind of getting the, the, the sense here, I think, that maybe you're looking at an entrepreneur that's at a, at a transitional level where their business is expanding, so maybe focus more on relations with their employees or stuff like that rather than family issues. Just tossing that out yeah, there, yeah. you know, that way your pitch might resonate with someone who's at a, at a you know, larger, kind of a small, oh, but, yeah. you know, not a solopreneur, but more of a right. small business. Okay. Yeah, Bill. Uh, since this is a, a program designed to help you with your pitch, uh, my, I guess my question is, why did you not use any handouts or use the, the, the video at all? Six minutes. Uh, six minutes, but, but those things, those are tools to help you get to the point, which is what Dan said, quicker. Okay. And you're right, six minutes is, not, I mean, any idiot can talk for 20 minutes. Yeah. It takes a real pro to talk for six minutes. Yeah, thanks for writing. You didn't talk to I think Dan is right. If you if you if you talked about your four part program early on, yeah. you know maybe. And I'm one of those people that likes visual things. Gotcha. So I think a handout or or, or you know something that we, we could follow that would be an outline of what you cover. Thank you. I appreciate that feedback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I considered it, but in the end decided six minutes wasn't going to allow me to necessarily. I heard your, your first presentation in the prior time, right. and I don't necessarily agree with you on this, but I thought that the, the, the longer explanation you gave was especially of your personal background and the reason for getting into this had more of an impact when you got to the actual talking about your four your four, four programs. Okay. So I, I thought that pertinent in, in thinking of other people in similar things in the similar markets, a lot of times it's their personal background that gives you the empathy and the the uh, ability to connect with hey, this person's been where I've been, right. and and gets that ability to, to then do the next step, which is to get a one-on-one. -on -one. That's that's good feedback. Yeah. Pitch-wise, you know, I heard the other one too. I would spend four minutes on your three minutes, maybe on your history. Uh -huh. Put a picture of you as an eight-year-old kid up there. Uh -huh. You know, okay. when you're talking about you as an eight-year-old kid thriving, which didn't really get on this time. Okay. And then you know, talk about how you got to where you are, and why are you credible to have this program, and then explain what the program is you know, okay. in your six minutes. And I like that. Uh, that's a great idea. 
connects us to you and, and gives us justification for why we should listen to you and you know why we should pay you six thousand dollars because you have you know your brand your credibility yeah. it builds yeah. your credibility yeah. Yeah. Are there opportunities for intellectual property? Uh, you mentioned a brand. Um, is is there anything? Of, can you copyright or patent a process that is unique to you? I can, yeah, I can. Yeah, you, know, you need to think about that. But because you know, it, it's so easy to, to for for anyone who is in the business to. Uh, set up their own, you know, seminar series. Sure. And, and and but if you can find something that is sufficiently unique, mm -hmm. that is that is that is a protectable. Yeah. yeah. With some kind of intellectual property, I, I would I, I would think you could if you if you can just remain sensitive to those opportunities as you right. go through the process. You know, can I patent that? Does it make any sense to do that? Right. That, that might be useful in terms of your growth potential. Sure. So you don't get a lot of copycats. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Any other hands up? That's it. Thanks again. Thank you all for having Let's give them another. Any other question announcements? Or